everyone there and welcome to my desktop review, overview of my new scope. I have just purchased a Sidewinder TAC 30 8.5 to 25 by 42. This is the IR version with the half mil dot reticle. It comes in this uh, really nice quality case um, which is uh, locking, which is handy if you ever need to um, transit your scope. Um, you get a high quality hook towel with the scope, um, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, in the box, there is the optional larger side wheel. Um, there's the 42mm sunshade and the scope itself. Um, I've only had a, a chance to have a little look um, through the scope, um, haven't actually fitted it to a rifle yet, um, but just looking through the optics do look very nice and bright. Um, the clarity out towards the edges um, is a little fuzzy towards the outer edges of it, um, but bearing in mind that I paid £275 for this scope, uh, and not a thousand pounds like you do um, for uh, other scopes and the optics are a very nice quality uh, in my opinion um, and the fit and finish of the scope and the locking turrets and the parallax adjustment and magnification adjustment are all very nice and smooth and have a good high quality feel to them and um, that of a higher price scope. Um, also, um, oh, I ordered this from Muttings by the way, um, £275. They are cheaper on the Blackpool Air Rifle site, um, but I was in a hurry to get this for the uh, next round of the UK Hunt the Field target this weekend. Um, and Blackpool Air Rifles unfortunately were out of stock of this item. Um, but I think they're 269 on Blackpool Air Rifles, so um, if you're ordering one of these, it may be worth having a look on there um, to see if you can uh, order it from them. What I say, they're a little bit cheaper. I've ordered some stuff from Blackpool Air Rifles before, and the service has been pretty good. Um, alternatively, you do find these out in the forums. Uh, it's always a bit of a gamble when you're buying stuff second hand. Um, but I've had quite a few deals on the airgunforum.net and um, airgun BBS and Touchwood. I've been pretty lucky so far. I've not bought any duff gear. Um, so much, uh, much appreciated to the guys that I've had deals with. Also, with this, um, this uh, scope, I ordered myself a set of uh, 9 to 11 mil, which is the correct fitting for my BSA. Um, 30 millimetre two piece um, high mounts um, I'm tossing up whether I'm going to put this on my BSA Scorpion um, which has been blueprinted by John Bowkett or my other John Bowkett blueprinted gun which is my BSA R10 um, my R10 is running all the same specification as the Mark II model although it is a Mark I rifle um, it has been brought up to date uh, and I did shoot it in the extreme uh, this year, just gone this winter, just gone, and came 12th overall with that. Um, so I may, uh, for a confidence reason, I'm not that I'm not confident in the um, Scorpion, but I just haven't shot it in competition yet. I may be attaching this to my BSA R10. Um, once I've had a chance to get out in the field and shoot with this a little bit, and I've got another couple of scope camera set up coming, um, I'll do some further um, updated uh, review points on this scope. But out of the box, for the money it's cost me, um, I do like to buy new if I can afford to, and I've just had a little windfall, which has given me the opportunity to buy this new. Um, I'm very pleased on first looks over the, the scope. I'm really, really pleased with my purchase. And uh, like I say, everything's got a good, high quality feel to it. I don't feel like um, I've got second rate products um, because of you know, the amount of money I've spent at all, um, which is important for me. So there we have it. Um, this is the Hawk Sidewinder TAC 30. 
8.5 to 25 by 42. I'm going to get this on my gun now and uh, off to Pete's air gun farm today to uh, get it set up ready for the Hunterfield target this weekend at Wendover. Thanks very much for watching.